Hey everybody, it's Karen from Our Fall Acrylics. Happy Saturday night. Woohoo! Gonna do um, a little pour tonight. Um, a good old fashioned flip and drag. Back in the middle of August, I did um, a live pour that was um, inspired by the Great Smoky Mountains um, in Tennessee and other states. And it was, it turned out really great. And right after I hit the off button, I dropped um, a cup in the middle of it. I think you remember in the next video, I was lamenting about that. And I said that I would come back around and um, recreate um, at least those colors. You can't recreate the painting. So that's what I'm gonna do tonight. Um, I need to do some rinsing tonight. I'm just gonna try and whip this out pretty quick, clean up, and then do other things. Um, I'm gonna list the colors on the screen. For you, the only color I want to point out as I show you my consistency is, huh, well, let's put the camera down. I'm <laughs> such a goober sometimes, I swear. Oh. All right, let me just straighten that out a little bit. Pretty good. I wanted to show you guys this color right here. So if you find yourself in a need of cerulean blue, this is really, really close to cerulean blue, you can make your own. So just a little tip from me to you, you can take Artist Loft Neon Blue and Liquitex Basics, the Philocyan Blue, half and half of each with a quarter of white and you will get this shade of blue. So uh, just a little handy tip. Um, pouring medium recipe is my usual. It's the 4A12, four ounces of water, eight ounces of the golden color pouring medium gloss, 12 ounces of Elmer's glue oil. Sorry for the typo in the last video. And one to one, well, let me, let me re retract that. I keep saying one to one ratio. And what I mean by that is um, I had a student go and actually um, she liked to measure. And she was measuring, in little things like this, exactly one ounce of uh, paint to one ounce of pouring medium. And the problem with doing that is all the paints are different brands, different viscosities, and it didn't work out for all the colors. So I think I should retract that and tell you what I do is, if I have an ounce of paint in one of these, I put enough pouring medium to cover it and cover it completely. That usually works out to close to another ounce, not always. And then if it's really sticky and gluey, um, when I mix it like really stiff, then I will add a little more pouring medium. If it's you have a um, fairly runny, like a soft body paint or maybe the Artist Loft Flow Acrylics and this stuff, you don't need as much pouring medium. A little will go a long way because what happens if you add too much pouring medium the first thing is when you mix it up it feels flat and um, has almost a chalky consistency and you want to keep some buoyancy it should have body even if it's thin even if you're doing a Dutch pour and you're just thinning it out with water or maybe a, um, a dash of flow tar or whatever you still need it to feel like it has some buoyancy Always, if it feels flat and chalky, you have too much pouring medium. Just a tip from me to you. So this is my consistency tonight. Um, Julie Cuts had asked me to try doing a slightly thinner mix um, in my pores to see if I would like that, because I tend to go on the thick side. So Julie, this one is for you. A little thinner, the mound or my trace doesn't sit on top of the paint as long as normal. So I definitely made it a little thinner tonight. So um, this is gonna be a sandwich pour. I already layered white in my five cups. I don't know if I'm gonna need five cups, um, but I have a couple little pieces I can throw the excess paint on. Um, this is a 12 by 24 gallery wrap canvas. And I got my order. I'm all like all organized tonight. It's freaking me out. Oh, but before I start, one more thing to show you. If you're stateside, and you're in a, in a state that, that has Safeway grocery stores, they were selling in their like kitchen gadget aisle. Um, they always have these anchor hawking 
little glass um, measuring cups, which I love because they're perfect for pouring for little projects. But now they're selling these bigger ones. Look at this, three spouts and a lid. It's golden, man, it's awesome. Um, and it has milliliters on one side and ounces on the other. It's the bomb. And then even cups, cups, ounces, and milliliters, all three. Um, man, perfect for a tree ring pour, right? Um, with the lid, so I am loving these. And they were buy two, get one free, and they were like nine bucks each. So I bought four of them. I wiped out the store every time. I've been in three different Safeway looking for them. They're, they're getting harder to find because they're on sale, but um, they rock for sure. Okay, uh, yeah, I've got my colors um, organized. I've got white in um, the bottom of the cups already. I'm just gonna go. Yeah, do a quick layer job. Since there's so many cups, maybe I should just uh, run it down the side. That might be faster, right? If I just do this on all of them. I do feel like I'm channeling Julie tonight though. Doing my flip and drag. I'm all organized. Pouring down the side of the cup. Got a thinner mix. I don't have any birds for you though, or puppies. Sorry. I have bird, um, crickets and tree frogs outside. And I have a new guest in the house, in my kitchen, no less. Or he was in my kitchen. So I was up late, late, um, goofing around with the, uh, with the Shilly Art course stuff and practicing those types of pores. I'm already out of this blue. And it was, I mean, it was late. It was like two o'clock in the morning. And I don't even know what made me look down, but there was the cutest little pale gray mouse just sitting in the corner by the sink, looking at me, whiskers twitching. I had the, it was definitely a mouse too. It had, it was like, literally, it looked like, you know, Mickey Mouse. It had the big round ears and a cute little face and a little tail. And it was up on its little legs, like with its nose twitching. It was adorable. And then it ran underneath my uh, my range, never to be seen again, so. And you know, my stupid cat, who was up in her usual spot on the counter by her food dish, was absolutely useless. She just kind of yawned. I was like, you're useless kind of cat are you? Uh, I definitely put too much white, I think, in some of the colors because the cups are already getting full. But we'll see. Yeah, so we have a mouse. And, you know, I would kind of be like live and let live, except, you know, if there's one, there's more. So we're going to have to call somebody. We get them like every three or four years, but... This is the first time um, they've been in our kitchen. Usually it's in our basement, like in the laundry room or something. So I we haven't figured out how it got up here, but I mean, they can fit into the tiniest of holes or, I don't know. There's no way you could navigate the steps. I have like um, the same kind of, our stairs or both set of our staircases are the same kind, like, that are in the Brady Bunch house, you know, with the open slats, open risers, I mean. So I can't imagine a mouse, like, you know, hopping up the steps. I gotta like ease up on the colors because I still have four more to go. <laughs> I might not be able to put, uh, this would just be an open sandwich because I'm not gonna have room for the white on top. Yeah, we'll call this the open sandwich flip and drag. Hey. Oh. Yeah, three more colors. Oh, more. oh boy, oh boy. Well, that, that paint's gray is really the shock of color.
So I finally got assigned um, a place as a part of the art in open spaces through my uh, local arts council. And I'm putting 15 of my bigger pieces, like everything is, um, I think the smallest piece, there's one 16 by 20, and everything else is like 18 or 24, 18 by 24 or larger. Um, and they're going into a real estate, like closing office, like the places you go to um, get your, to sign your papers for your mortgage and whatnot. So lots of people, lots of traffic, and it's right next to a metro stop, a subway stop. So I'm kind of excited about that. And they get to hang there for three months. So maybe I'll get a, um, a sale out of it. Two would be nice. And my, um, my local arts council, since they set it up, they take a commission. And they only take 10%, which is like totally, totally awesome. That's a really pretty blue-gray right here, isn't it? So, I am, um, I'm still kind of wiped out. I need to get cracking and make some art, because my inventory is super low. Oh, I forgot to do show and tell. Next time. Uh... All right, is that all the colors? All right, hit all the colors. I have just enough room for like a little bit of white. But man, these are gonna be full cups. And we're just gonna start off with four. I can't do a true sandwich. Some of my colors are a little different from the, uh, the live pour Smoky Mountain thing. I had a um, a horrible mom moment today. My daughter had a, um, a girlfriend sleepover, and this afternoon we were um, we had gone apple picking um, last weekend or whatever, and so tons of apples. So I decided to make apple pie and apple crisp, and I was having the girls help me, and I have a fancy slicer dicer. And my daughter's girlfriend, she's like, I want to do it, I want to do it. So I like, I gave it to her before I had a chance to like show her how to use the little safety thing that you put the apple on and then do it. She took her at the apple and went slice and it sliced her finger and it bled. Like I felt, oh my God, it just bled and bled. Like it looked really bad. And her mom, I'm like, I'm, I called her mom. I'm like, I'm going to take her to the ER or somewhere. And she's like, no, no, I'll take her. And then, you know, you feel really, really guilty. Um, but she came and picked her up and took her to the ER. And luckily it didn't get onto the bone or anything. And they, they just, I think, put like a little bit of glue on it and didn't even stitch it up and sent her home. So they said it didn't really, she, she's gonna lose her nail, but that's about it. But gosh. You know, you never want to see, we well, don't want to see anyone get hurt, but it, it seems doubly worse, you know, when it's not your kid <laughs> and they're in your care. I was like, oh, I'm going to save a cup because these cups are so full and um, we'll just go with the four. All right. That was lickety split. I'm a little bit worried about the, uh, what did I throw in there? I have some permanent blue violet and I'm worried that it's a little dark, but, and I thought, oh, well, this is a sandwich pour. The white will calm it down, but all right. Let me move everything out of my way. And we'll give these a flip and drag.
I've been playing a lot. I mean, a lot with, um, I am determined to conquer the uh, golden high flow acrylics, like the super high flow stuff. That's all I've been doing. I'm like obsessed. So this is nice to like do something familiar. All right, here goes one Geronimo. Oh yeah, I'm gonna put this here. Gosh, yeah, I think uh, I think four cups will be plenty. Yeah. Oh, the purple's pretty. It's pretty with the white. Look at that. Whoa. <laughs> I might have spoke too soon. Let's calm that down. Just a little bit. And maybe calm this down too. Add a little something something to that gray. Alright. Charge. They're going to meet up. Oh, hello, Pink. Where are you? Where you been? have some things meet up. Got all these triangles everywhere to cover. Let's meet in the middle. Go say hi. tilt just a little bit more before I torch this. Come up here. I might do one side and not the other. I think that's the plan. Yep. So we'll do this side but not the other. This is, uh, it's pretty. You know, there's no way to recreate that damn painting. I loved it so much. Um, it was uh, definitely softer looking than this one. Um, that's okay though. Let's see what happens. I'll whip off my fingers. Alright. Try not to over torch. and bubbles more than anything. The places I want cells is in the white. Like I kind of like the color to just be color. This is the most careful I've been in a while with a torch. Look at my self-control, y'all. Some right there. Oh, did I do too much right there? All right. Let me find a safe spot for that. Give us a tilt. Yeah, see? What are you gonna do? All right, I'm gonna get rid of my bikini corners first up here. So we're gonna go back, even though, cause we we're, I think I left the weight of the paint up there anyway. So yeah, I did. So that was pretty easy. The other corner's cute, so I'm gonna let that one live. And then we'll just uh, wiggle on down to the, 
to the other part of town. Ah, lost some pretty cells. I was going to go for it right there and right there. Let me come up and see what I got. Oh, I got to go over to this one corner. All right. I got coverage everywhere. Oh, I kind of like it because I didn't go hog wild, hog wild with the cells. Oh, I don't like this corner. <laughs> yeah, you're a goner. The one, the one corner is cute. These two corners. Wait, am I in frame? These two here. Yeah, they gotta go. Both of them. This one looks easy. She says. Yeah, one. Let's bring everything up and strain it out. Come up a second. All right, and then come over. And try to get to this white corner. That I don't like one bit. Off you go. Back up. Ooh, some cells grew. Wow. I'm like, we're moving, woohoo! All right, let me stop and look at it. See what I like. It is decidedly not the Smoky Mountains. Not at all. So, you might see this, that inspiration a third time until I get it because I want that painting and I'm going to get stubborn about it. Um, I like, why well, don't I want to splooge on it? So let me wipe my hands again before I point. Oh, I got a white corner up there. That's okay. It's not offensive. I like all the cells up here. Like the top part is uh, amazing. These are great. Um, these are kind of wonky here, so I'm going to try and tilt a little bit off, and uh, I'm going to lose a little bit, and then bring it back, and that might be it. It's very, very pretty. It's just not, you know. I even, I even went back to that video and, like, wrote down the colors, and I knew I didn't have them all, but I thought I could substitute some things, and, uh, like, the purple... I didn't have the right shade of purple, but so I'm just gonna take this and just bring it straight down and just lose some of the wonky ones if I can without making everything else wonky. And bring it back up. Yep, that's uh, old school Karen pour right there for sure. I haven't done like one like this. I guess since the the uh, I haven't done one of these since the um, live video. Yeah, since the Smoky Mountain one. Ta -da! Yeah, I'm leaving it. It's pretty. It's really pretty. It's good. Um, I liked it. Um, I was. You know, for me, conservative with the torch tonight, not too bad. The colors are really, really pretty. Composition's nice. This is my favorite thing right here. Um, these two sections, like right here and right here, are really nice. Great cells. So, uh, yeah, let me get you guys down for a quick look. Let me see if I can drop this down. Can I be all fancy tonight? I get you done somewhat, but so you can see the whole thing. Well, until I gotta straighten it out, right? So that's what it looks like up close. I think I think that's gonna be the top, and then that's the bottom. Because I just 
I just love this here. So let me get you down on the good uh, bits and bobs and odds and sods. And you got a little white corner up here. I like the dark purple with the black cells though. Uh, very drama. And then look, check out these cells here. Holy moly, those are awesome. Awesome. And then I like the blank, uh, the blankness of the white. That's to me, that's Smoky Mountains. That's about the only part of the painting that is. And then um, really pretty cells here with the purple and the blue. The Payne's Gray helped blend there. Very pretty. And then down here, these guys over here. They're super cool and nice too. I don't even mind that caterpillar because it's blue on one end and pink on the other. So it's kind of cool. Got a little cluster down here. And the purple background with the blue cells there, that's awesome on the corner. And then this corner over here on the other side is just, it's just cute as a button. So yeah, that's a quick little painting for me tonight. That way I can get to resonating. And uh, I'm teaching tomorrow. I'll see if the student is willing to be filmed or not. I'm not gonna put any pressure on anybody because I know it's nerve wracking enough. Um, but if, if she's willing, you might see another video. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in a couple days. Take care, guys. Oh, please like and subscribe and you know, all that other stuff. <laughs> Take care, bye.